It is midday at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, where an American astronaut and two Russian cosmonauts are sitting atop the 160-foot-tall Soyuz booster. These three are about to begin their planned two-orbit flight to the station, with the docking scheduled a little more than three hours. And then once at the pad, the crew climbing a small flight of stairs, getting set up, taking a few final photos and waving goodbye uh, to officials from Roscosmos and NASA gathered to see the crew members off before they head into the elevator of the ride up to the top of the Soyuz rocket to board their capsule. This all took place about two hours ago, and since then the crew has been uh, in their seats uh, again, Oleg Novitsky is in the center seat. He's the commander of the Soyuz spacecraft. Uh, Piotr Dubrov in the left seat. Mark Van de Heij in the right. Okay, if you received the the message about the casual parameters, copy. And right on time, we see first stage separation, the Koryov cross, those four strap-on boosters separating. Now the single core stage continuing to power the Soyuz spacecraft into flight. Copy. Just before that, the launch escape tower was also jettisoned. Soyuz does maintain escape capability all the way to flight, though, at this stage able to use 
uh, for a short time, uh, small boosters on the shroud itself, and then once the shroud detaches, you will use boosters on the spacecraft. And now standing by for third stage separation. Shut down and separation. 520 seconds into the flight. Kazbeki. Uh, orbit insertion is confirmed. Uh, our congratulations, and now uh, Moscow, MCC Moscow, will talk to you. Kazbeki, Moscow. Kazbeki, Moscow. And so we saw a good shutdown and separation of the third stage. Solar array has deployed.